with Brazil. Nico, are you surprised that they are sitting in fifth place at this point, considering fifth. the injuries that they have? Yeah, fifth is, is pretty low mm -hmm. for Brazil. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the last time that I saw Brazil sitting in fifth place in the World Cup qualifiers. Despite the injuries, they have a plethora of talent. It's almost inexcusable that they're fifth. So why are they in this position? Um, they've had to face stiff opposition. I mean, they're coming off back-to-back -back losses. Uruguay just took it to these teams. They suffocated both of them. Brazil didn't have a response to Uruguay's play in, in that game that they lost. And uh, two moments of brilliance from Luis Diaz mm -hmm. and a little bit of James Rodriguez against Colombia did them. I feel like Brazilian football needs to have uh, a bit of a resurgence. It, they haven't won a World who, Cup who, since who, 2002. Who can provide that resurgence? Hey, Vinicius. Well, it, well he's a, out. a lot of Brazilians Ancelotti were hoping. Were hoping. Well, probably, but Brazilians were hoping for Neymar to be that guy to take Brazil back to the glory land. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah, under delivered. Yeah, but that's. That's gone. Right. right. So now there's a big, so a lot of question where does it marks. Come from but now? You, you, you look you at the guess. you look at the eleven. There's no Adriano. There's no Ronaldo. There's no Ronaldinho. There's not that. No Kaká. Kaká. Like I mean, we can keep on naming yeah. names. No, but there's no, a no one has. Go. There's a Rafinha. There's a, a Gabriel Magalhães. Right. But have there's a Marquinhos. There's a Martinelli. I mean, this is an incredibly stacked team. Right. You're looking at this. You're telling me this isn't good enough. Everyone talks about the. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's good the enough. Draw to Venezuela. I mean, they have been Correct. languishing for the last three matches. As much as I absolutely love Geniz and like, I love his tactics. There's clearly having a a you know part-time manager might not be the move right now. Also, Gio Pedro Guimarães. I mean, this exactly. is this is a stacked team still. But for a Brazilian standard, you're telling me João Pedro. Look at Renan Lodi and Emerson Royale, and mind you, now they go on to have a hell right. of a game against Argentina tonight. But of course for, they will because when, you're saying that. when we've had when we've had Dani Alves, Marcelo, Cafu, Roberto Carlos. And you're telling me the best fullbacks that Brazil can produce right now is Emerson Royale and Renan Lodi. Where's Where's Gabriel? Where's uh, Gabriel Jesus? He He could fit in. So Gabriel Jesus didn't play in the in the first game against Colombia. He yeah. stayed back at Granja Comari, right. which is Brazil's training center, getting Coming fit for back this from game. An injury, yeah. There's a There's a possibility that instead of João Pedro, it's it's him alongside Rodrigo. Also, Martinelli at the nine worked. I don't understand why we're not trying that again. And I know they're going to switch around because it's Genesis system. No one's going to be standing where they're where they're in the system uh, while they play. But I would love to see Martinelli, who I do think potentially could be the future number nine for Arsenal. I, I would like to see Endrick. Yeah, he got some minutes against yes. Colombia. We're, we're talking about a player who's going to Real Madrid. You want to start him after coming off no, the first time with two him. losses and a draw? No, oh, okay. I, of course not starting him. But I want to see him come into the game and and start to show what he's capable of. Because this is, you, you, if you're going to Real Madrid, just like Vinicius Jr. when he was young, and it took him time to adjust. But if he's going to be the, the next inspiration, the yeah. next big player. You're saying drop him in the deep end. 100%. Not Ooh. starting. No, it, no, no. But, but, but yes. It's, it's got to be a tactical moment when and yeah, where to course. place him. It, it can't just be, you know, it's got to be. It's not like, very, oh, I'm scheduling it, right. 60th minute, Endrick's coming in, with, with, and you're, and you're, you're winning 2-0. Right. It's not, you know, it's not Brazil against Bolivia in the Maracanã. It's yeah. Brazil against Argentina. And depending how the game goes, I feel like Geniz might have to make an important addition to the game with Endrick that could be just that. That perfect. The spark. The chemical it's the spark. X. Mm. Yeah. Uh, is that a cartoon thing? It's it. Is. Power of Girls. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't get that. If one. Neymar was it. healthy, though, would they still be in this position? I mean, is it is it too easy to say that? Well, they're missing their best player. Brazil plays better with Neymar. Yeah. Without a doubt. Exactly. Because they flow off of his creativity. Yeah. And his confidence exactly. on the ball. Plus, there's a no little one's... dynamism. But is that too is that, is that, is that too that easy of an excuse to use for? Yeah, Brazil. Yes, because look at the talent pool that Brazil have. Okay. They have a lot of injuries. Let's 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 don't put that lightly. Right. Some real world class players are out yes. of this team. But given but. that, as a manager in this team, you have to figure out okay. ways to get them going. To maybe to get someone else who to empower another player, to give them that freedom that Neymar has. 
that's that's the job of the manager. I, I'm like at a crux here because it's like yes, they have a lot of talent. It's deep. Brazil will always have a deep talent pool, but there's again to the, my first point. There's nobody supremely world class, which we've been used to Brazilian generations upon generations having mm -hmm. like supremely world class. Some of the best players in the world, but you look at that team Game and changers. it's like, v Vin well, not even the team that we saw, but without Vinicius, you look at these players and who who's top three in their position? Allison? In the world? In their position, on that team that we saw. Mm. None, maybe. Marquinhos, I can think of three better center backs than Marquinhos. There's, Allison might be Are the only one. you saying in the world? In the world. Top yeah, but th why would you need to be top three in the world? Because you looked at the Brazil teams, historically the ones that have won World Cups, probably there were five minimum that were the best player in their position in the world. But they all, were that all, good. That's all, what I'm saying. Is they're deep, but they're play. not. And they're important on their oh. team, which is the most important thing Sh if you're the sure. Brazil manager. Right. You don't need to have 11 world-class players or 11 players who are the best in their position or top three in their position to win, right? Look to, at Colombia. To, to, to win a world, Uruguay. hold up, but Colombia is different. I'm, I'm, well, let's oh. talk about Brazil to the Brazilian standard. But Brazil to the five, have to you reach see the, the five stars standard. on their crest. You, you, it's not just the Brazilian standard, but South, the rest of South America. They shouldn't be in fifth place regardless. Previous yeah. qualifying, that would have been a playoff position. Now, obviously, a lot more players get in. A lot more teams get in, I should say. A lot more nations get in. But, yeah, that would have been embarrassing if they would have finished in fifth. And weren't they, weren't they undefeated in the last qualifying cycle? They were. And, by the way, this Argentina-Brazil game wasn't played in the last World Cup oh, qualifying cycle. Remember when it was kind of with players COVID? Players the pitch, wasn't it? Uh, it, was, it was people from the sanitary department of Brazil charge the pitch to get the game canceled when they were already both qualified because Argentina falsified documents, COVID documents to get okay. into Brazil. Remember wow. that? We were, where were, we, were at, we were in New York and we were doing something for CONCACAF together. Yeah. And I was watching it on my phone. I was like, whoa, what what's going happening? on? Crazy. So the we, we didn't get this match. Yeah. Okay. Uh